All right, so what we got here is the Valve Steam Deck. What we're gonna be doing today is upgrading our 64 gigabyte EMMC hard drive to a much larger and faster 512 gigabyte M.2 SSD hard drive. This is what we have right here. If you can see that, let me get a little closer. All right, and that's a size 2230 hard drive. So before we start, you wanna make sure you have certain things. By certain things, I mean, you wanna have something like this because what you're gonna to have to do is transfer the new Steam Deck operating system onto your new hard drive. And how you're gonna do that is by using this USB-C port on top and connecting some kind of multi USB transfer device to that. You can use an SD card, a micro SD, or in this case, you can use trusty flash drive. We have a flash drive right here and you can use that. You're also gonna want a plastic spludger tool. I recommend plastic because the uh, console's whole housing is plastic and using a metal one, when you open it, could damage it a little and you definitely don't wanna damage this baby. We also have a small Phillips head screwdriver and it's really nothing, this is a really old Phillips head screwdriver. It's just a small electronics or eyeglasses screwdriver Really nothing, nothing spectacular here. Anything that'll fit in these screws located on the back of the Steam Deck will work. So first things first, what you wanna do is make sure that your Steam Deck is powered down. Once you do that, you can begin removing the screws in the back. I like to put the screws in the same orientation that they are so that I remember where they go when I'm putting them back. It's not that vital in this situation because there's only two different size screws, the larger ones being on the outside and the shorter ones being in the middle. So if you do forget to do that, you will be able to easily recognize which one goes where. This video is obviously at one and a half times speed, so it is a little faster than normal. You can pause if you need to and try to catch up if you fall behind. Next, you want to use your spludger tool near the trigger button and work it down the side of the casing to open up some tabs that are in the inside. Then you want to use your fingers, like so, to try and kind of pry the case off a little bit. It does take some pressure, but it will pop. It's a little scary because you hate to put that much pressure on something you paid so much money for, but it should be fine. Next, remove the aluminum tape on this casing here, and there's a screw underneath that must be removed. Next is a screw up top that you also must remove. And another screw on the bottom for a total of three. Then the shield can come right off. With a little help from your spludger if necessary. Next you want to disconnect the battery power. There's a tab on the battery. You can see that little black. Oh, I have a screw I forgot. I need to remove. I don't have a magnetic screwdriver. This is a tab you have to pull. I like to use the spludger to give me a little assistance just in case I don't trust that tab. Now you want to remove the screw holding the hard drive in. This is the screw right here that comes out pretty easily. And you can just kind of pull your hard drive up and out. This hard drive was already removed and replaced. This is the 512, not the 64 already. We've already run through this. So we're just going to be putting the same hard drive back in to show you how it's done. That jacket around the hard drive that's made of that metallic tape needs to be removed and placed on the new 512. It is worth noting that the 512 is thicker than the old 64. So it did take some effort to get that onto the 512. So that might take you a little bit of time. Once you do that, screw the hard drive back in and you can now push your battery back in. I use this bludger tool to kind of push the battery connector back together once I got it lined up a little easier than using your fingers. Got that nice and tight, it really wasn't a problem. Now that housing that you took off can go back on with the three screws. No problem here, just line it up carefully. Start with whatever screw you'd like. I don't think it's very important. Top one, bottom one here. And this one here. Good to go, just snug them up tight. 
now you can put the housing back on but I did realize that I forgot to put the uh, tape back on on top of that screw and you should leave things how you found them so let me do that now the housing can be lined up and pretty much just press back into place carefully work your way around the edges and just press it back it really goes together pretty well I have a little trick when I put the screws back in that I'll tell you so when I put the screws back in I try to put them on in somewhat of a diagonal pattern I would say and the reason that is is because if you put them all on one side first and then work your way to the other side you could over tighten one side and kind of make the other ones hard to find because one side's tightened so much that the holes don't line up on the other side so I kind of go in a crisscross pattern I'll do like top right to bottom left bottom left top right makes things tighten a lot more evenly and if you're getting value out of this video please hit that subscribe button so we can make more videos like this in the future and here's the final screw really not a problem screws went on pretty easily and that's the hard drive installation make sure to keep watching for the operating system installation coming up now so we had a little problem with our old flash drive so we're not going to use that so we put the operating system on this micro uh, SD card same procedure as before just plugged into this device here so we're going to try to boot from this so we hold these hear the noise let go of the power button keep holding down the uh, power, sound down and we got to the boot manager so now we're going to hit I believe it's A to load from this storage device this might take a, a couple minutes so we'll see what happens here you hear the fan spinning that's a good sign it means that you know something's working all right so we waited about three minutes or so and we finally had this thing boot back on it was a scary three minutes because of our problems with our old flash drive and we were hoping we weren't going to have any more and it looks like we're all good to go so what you want to do now is navigate over to re-image steam deck right here and click on that and here you go it says this action will re-image the, the steam deck you want to hit proceed i'll click over here proceed i guess you don't got to navigate over there don't know why i did that so you're going to run through some lines of script here and it's doing its thing that might take a few minutes all right so Re-imaging complete. Choose proceed to reboot the Steam Deck. So we're going to proceed. Obviously. We want to proceed. And after this, I believe we're pretty much done. We're going to see what it tells us to do next. If there's any more prompts, I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully we can just start downloading some games and playing them. That's why we got 512 gigabytes here. To be able to do just that. So I do hear the fan running, so I know something's working. And we obviously see the screen is on. So just waiting for this to uh, to boot up to the home page or to whatever it boots to. <laughs> Now you want to select your time. I think everything's good. Obviously, we're selecting English. We're going to select our time, which is Eastern Standard Time. It's the best way to do this here. Can I go down? Eastern Standard Time. There we go. And we're not going to give you our password, sorry. All right, so guys, we're all installed. We're just finishing up here. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. You can see we have a few minutes left to go. I hope this video helps you guys. Please like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, post them below. We'll be sure to answer them as fast as possible. And let us know if there's any other videos you want to see 
of the Steam Deck that we can help you with any problems. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.